Hi, Heath from vMix here. Today we'll be looking at how to live stream from vMix to Instagram. To do this, you'll need three key things. One, an Instagram professional account. Don't worry, anyone can adjust their account settings for this. Two, a phone to turn on Instagram features that are only available in the app. And three, a vertical production setup in vMix because Instagram accepts portrait or vertical content. I'll step you through all of these three things now. So let's get started by opening a browser and going to Instagram. I'm currently logged into a personal Instagram account, which means that when I click on the create button here, I can only make regular posts. By switching to a professional Instagram account, I'll gain a new option for live video. To do that, I just click on more, then go to settings, and then scroll right to the bottom and select account type and tools. From here, I select switch to professional account and I select either a creator or a business account. As vMix, I'll select business. Then just select a category. I'll go with product service. And I can choose to use my details or not. So I'll select not to. And that's it. We've set up a professional account. With that done, I now have the ability to click on create and select live video. But before I do, there is an important thing to understand. Instagram Live will send out a live stream for people to watch, but once the stream's ended, it will no longer be available to watch later. So if you wanna save your stream so that you can upload it later, you have two options. One, you can set vMix to record the production for you on your PC. We'll touch on this a little bit later. Or two, you can turn on live video archiving in your Instagram settings. Now this feature is available in the Instagram phone app. And once turned on, it will store your live streams for 30 days to allow you to share them from the phone app later. So grab a phone and we'll turn this feature on right now. So I have a phone right here, uh, but it's very small. So I'll put it up on the big screen for you. There we are, so that you can follow along. So firstly, we go to Instagram. Next, we're gonna go up to the menu icon in the top right corner. Then we'll go to settings and privacy at the top there. From here, we'll work our way down until we find archiving and downloading. And there, we'll click save live to archive. With that done, we now have the ability to archive our live streams. So now back in the browser, we can select that create button. From here, we'll select live video. Here, we can give the video a title. Let's call it vMix live stream. And we can set the audience to public or practice. Now, I would strongly recommend that you go with practice for a few practices before you're ready to go live. But for this tutorial, I will select public. Click next. And here you can see that we have a preview on the left and on the right are some streaming details. We have a stream URL and a stream key. These are the two key elements required for us to do a custom RTMP stream from vMix. So we'll be copying these later, but for now it's time to set up our vMix production. So here I am in the vMix interface and I have a basic production setup. I've got a camera with embedded audio and a title. The important thing to remember is that Instagram only supports vertical streams and wants them at a resolution of 720 wide by 1280 high at 30 or 60 frames per second for best results. Note that regular widescreen HD is only 1080 pixels high. So if you have vMix Basic HD or vMix HD, your resolution will be a little bit lower than the 720 by 1280. But if you have vMix 4K, Pro or Max, you have plenty of vertical resolution to work with. So we recommend setting up a vertical HD production for this purpose. To do that, go up to the new button up here and select something with at least 1280 vertical resolution. And for best results, 
find one that's noted as Vertical HD. The next thing I'll do is turn on the Vertical Safe Area Grid. This allows me to preview my content and make sure it will be seen in the Instagram live stream. So I go to this icon here and select Vertical 9x16. Only content within the center panel of the grid will be seen in the Instagram live stream. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, you can record your production in vMix in vertical format. To do that, you're going to have to select MP4 as your video format. And for your resolution, you'll select vertical 9 by 16 right at the bottom. By doing this, you will have the vertical resolution of your preset and the sides will be cropped for you. Okay. With my production all set up, I'll head to the streaming settings down here. And what I'm going to want is a custom RTMP server. So I'll click on that, which is right at the top. And here we've got a URL and a stream name or key. These are the ones that we need to copy from the Instagram interface. So we'll head over there and we'll copy the URL first and we'll paste it in the URL space. Then we will copy the key and we'll paste that as well. Finally, we need to set the quality. So as we scroll down through the list of default qualities, we've got some vertical ones here. We want 1280p, 3.5 megabits per second. Now, Instagram does support a range of bit rates going from 2.25 megabits per second right up to six megabits per second. We're gonna leave it as is, but if I wanted to change that, I could click this settings icon here to do that. Finally, I'll make sure that I have use hardware encoder ticked because that's very important for live streaming. And if you're not sure why, I'll leave a link in the description for a video that goes through that in detail. So we are ready to save and close. Okay, we're now ready to stream. And the important thing to note is that as soon as I hit that stream button in vMix and our button turns orange indicating a connection is establishing, our stream will be sent to Instagram and Instagram will start storing it. Then when we go to Instagram and click on the go live button, that stored content will start playing out from when our stream button lit up in vMix. Shortly after starting the stream in vMix, we'll see a preview in the Instagram interface. The thing to remember is that while it is a preview, it'll also end up being your live content. So avoid applying your makeup and doing your vocal exercises because that stuff is gonna end up in your live stream when you hit the go live button. Also, we're uncertain how much storing of the stream that Instagram will actually do. So we recommend that you hit that go live button quite soon after starting the stream in vMix. This should also allow you to respond to comments much faster. One more thing to note before we go live is that when we end the stream from the Instagram interface, Instagram will stop receiving our vMix stream at this point in time in vMix, not at the time in the Instagram preview pane, which will be delayed. So as soon as you have finished your production in vMix, this is the time to end the stream in Instagram. Oh, and as always, make sure you follow the three rules of live streaming test test and test again. Okay, it's time to go live. So I am gonna hit this stream button. And as soon as that turns yellow, I am gonna start talking like I am live. As soon as I get the opportunity, I'm gonna hit that go live button. That's gonna inform the Instagram viewers that I have gone live and they can start tuning in. All right, here we go. Hi there, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me on this live stream to Instagram. Hello, y'all. It is good to have you all here. Um, I'm not sure who's tuned in yet, but I would love to hear from all of you. So at the moment, we are currently running a training video and you could potentially be in it because if you put your comments in or you turn up, well, you're gonna be part of our video in some way. So first up, it's Alexandria and Felix and Fred. Thank you for coming in. B-Bob, thanks guys. Thank you very much for joining in this live stream. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is give you the petrol prices. So let's take a look at those. All right, what have we got? We have got 
$1.72.5 for special E10. We've got $1.74.5 for... All right, so we'll cut it off there and I'll just explain to you that I ran the live show right to the end and then as soon as I was ready to finish in vMix, that's when I stopped the stream in Instagram. And now I've returned to the vMix interface and you can see that my stream button is now orange and that is because the stream hasn't got anywhere to go. So I can end that now by clicking on it. That stopped now and we've now completed our stream. The last thing to do is to find that stream recorded in the archive. So to do that, I need to get my phone out again. So here it is and I will put it up on screen like that. I'll click on the menu icon in the top right corner again. And this time I'll go to archive. Here I can see my previous live streams. So there on the left is my most recent one. By clicking on this, I'll get a preview of it. And it's kind of weird because it's positioned right where I am, of course, because that's how the stream went out. So very strange. Anyway, at the bottom of this interface, is the share icon. I can choose to share the video by adding a few details here. Okay, that is everything you need to know about live streaming to Instagram from vMix. Now, just remember that even if you don't have one of the higher tiers of vMix, you can go out at 1080p and you'll get 1080 high resolution. And for some people that might be really useful. In fact, if you wanted to go out widescreen for most of your viewers, but have a portrait version just for Instagram, well then you could make that work by going out to say YouTube and Facebook on widescreen and portrait on Instagram, which is pretty cool being able to do that in vMix. So have a bit of fun with it. Let me know how you go in the comments. And if you have any issues, head on over to vmix.com. There you can find a heap of support documentation and you can also email us from there. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.